I have a lot of things that I need, I need to share with you guys. A few days ago, Fancy got her first ever tick. If you don't know what ticks look like, I'll show you a picture of them. But she had one like right on her back. Bro, they're laughing so hard because we feel so dumb in these. Like we just feel like we're like fakes. Like Brock and I don't really know how to ride horses. Hey Brock, are you okay? Are you feeling sick or what? Do you just not feel good? I just hopped out of the shower, but today I decided that I wanted to vlog because you guys, vlogging is like my favorite. Like, looking back at like all the old videos that we used to make. Like, she's on the back of my head. Today I just wanted to vlog and bring you guys along because I have a lot of things that I need, I need to share with you guys. There's a lot, a lot of updates. Brock and I, we have horse lessons this morning at like 10 a.m. It's, what time is it right now? Like nine or something? Hold up. It's almost nine o'clock, and so Brock and I are gonna head out in just a little bit, well, in an hour. So today is like our first ever like break day, you could call it, because this entire week, we've been so busy with so many things, like working on the house, working on like the bathroom renovation, putting all the tile stuff in, filling it with grout, and so we've been doing a lot of that. And then we've also been taking a lot of our finals for our tests. Brock, how many more tests do you have to take? I have three. Three more tests, and then you're done with junior year. Done with junior year. So, you've already taken how many classes? You've taken your math class, but you want to retake that. Yeah, and then you have that math final and then you've taken your biology. I've taken my biology and I passed my biology, so I'm good. So sweet. And then I've taken my economics and then my biology, but I want to retake it so I can get a better score. In English, so mm -hmm. So sweet. Pretty fun, but also stressful. I know, just getting all of these tests done, you guys. I did not realize that finals online were gonna be like so stressful and crazy. Like, oh, I need to show you guys this. Yesterday, Brock was taking his final, and this is what you have to do. He was taking it in our computer room, right over here, and he has to cover like this computer, this computer, with like his laptop in front of him, and then he has to like show a whole 360 view of like the entire thing, so. And he has to show the teacher that he's like on his computer, and like your computer is like monitored and stuff, which is so crazy. But I wonder if they've had like a bunch of like cheating and stuff going on in like a lot of the classes So that's why they're doing it, but it was just like crazy I'm like, uh, we have to like show like our entire like computers and stuff and then we have to cover like all, Just like random things and like do a 360 view. It's like intense yeah. Finals week. It's been intense mm -hmm. But hey after that we have our summer break and then we'll be vlogging a lot more We'll be done. We'll be done I'm so excited for that because you guys, I've really missed vlogging and stuff and just like pulling out the camera like on a random day, like figuring out some fun that we're gonna do. But I just feel like school and like all of these like busy little projects that we've been doing has been kind of holding us back. So, Brock said he doesn't want to be filmed, but we're on our way to horse lessons. And you guys, when Brock and I first started horse lessons, we thought that we were gonna be like totally like cowboys with like cowboy hot hats on, boots and everything. But no, it's literally- We're just a bunch of nerds on a horse. No, That's it's us. like, there's a difference between being a cowboy and being an equestrian. A question you have to like wear helmets and stuff. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. But it's well, actually we're not pretty even, fun. Like, good equestrians. We're like Boston yeah. and I don't know anything. So we're just like No, if you guys if you're an equestrian or if you're a cowboy watching this, please let us know and perfect us. Props to you guys. Yes. But riding horses is actually a lot a lot more difficult than I thought when we first started. So yeah, I will agree. Okay, well I'm gonna go ride one of my favorite horses there. His name is Bullet. And then what's your Nova? Nova? Yeah. We have some pretty good horses we're about to ride. Yeah, turn it around, bro. Oh, are laughing so hard because we feel so dumb in these. Like, we just feel like we're, like, fakes. Like, Brock and I don't really know how to ride horses, but whatever. Let's go. There's Chandler, and then Brock's over there riding Jericho. Okay, well we're back home from horse lessons. It did pretty good, although it kind of like tires out your legs. Like we're like learning how to post and stuff, so you know what that is, but it's so hard. But I just went upstairs like a few minutes ago and Brock, he like fell like right back to sleep. I don't know if he's like not feeling good or maybe he's just tired or something. So I'm gonna go in and check on him. Hey Brock. What fancy? Are you okay? Are you feeling sick or what? Do you just not feel good? Yeah, fancy, get back out of here. 
Well, if you need anything, let me know. Do you want, do you want me to bring up like a thing of water or? You're good? Get fancy, get off, you have to get off. Oh my Well, it looks like Brock isn't doing too good. Maybe it's just me, but like I swear everybody right now is like getting sick or like right before they go to bed or something like that. Like they feel like they're gonna throw up. I've like seen, I've like, I know if, oh my gosh. I cannot talk because of this cat over here, but I just know like so many people are getting sick right now and then they're all just like throwing up. So I think that's how Brock feels, but I'm gonna go bring him up a water and stuff and maybe like a few snacks or something. Well, look at that. I'm just such a nice brother. Okay, you guys, a few days ago, Fancy got her first ever tick. If you don't know what ticks look like, I'll show you a picture of them. But she had one like right on her back, like right over here, and we had to get it off. It was so scary because we've heard that down in Tennessee, actually one of our friends, there's like there's like these things that are called bobcat ticks, and if a cat gets them, it's like not good for them at all because like it can like, you know. So, we've been just tick checking her every single day, and you're not even supposed to be on the counter. You guys, this cat, she's a handful. Well, it looks like someone is finally feeling better. Dude, I think it was because I ate so many eggs this morning. How many eggs like, did that, you have? That's done that to me a few times. In the, wait, the German pancakes yeah. or what? Yeah, I think so. You guys, Brock ate like an entire plate of German pancakes. <clears throat> like the whole pan. <laughs> Literally like, the whole pan. But <clears throat> this has also happened um, before too, where before bed I'll eat like six eggs and- Six? <laughs> you eat six eggs before six bed? Eggs. Bro, that's bad. It was, like, it, was like four, it was like four eggs, but it like it was heavy on me. That's a yeah, that's still a lot of eggs. Yeah, it kills my it just kills my stomach like and I couldn't sleep before too, so So that's why you went upstairs to go and take a little nap? It's like the same pain. That's probably what if you're allergic to eggs or something? I think I'm allergic. I think I just uh, had too many. I don't know, you might be allergic. Okay you guys comment down below if you can be allergic to eggs so that um it, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, Brock, what are you making right now to make your stomach feel better? <laughs> I am making water, frozen wa watermelon. I'm blending it up. You guys, frozen watermelon is not really that good. I thought it was gonna taste like super yummy, but it did not, not at all. Not good, but we're gonna try it blended. Making a slushy out of watermelon. Yeah. An organic slushy. Okay, you guys, I added some milk and then I also added some coconut and it actually tastes really good. I'll say first, the watermelon tasted a little different, but then once I added all the other things, kind of canceled out the whole fruit, so it was pretty good. Now it just tastes like a slushy. Yeah, and I made a TikTok too about it, so if you guys aren't following us, go follow us on TikTok at Brock and Boston. Go follow us.